Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of the Binding of Isaac. We're gonna start doing some uh, vanilla runs for a while, because I was looking through the feedback for challenge runs, and a lot of people like them, and I respect that, but uh, a lot of people are also saying like, ah, you, you know, oh, there's a dime back there. Uh, your commentary suffers a little bit as a result of being forced to focus on the challenge runs. There's other negatives to the challenge runs, you know, they, uh, Oftentimes, most of the time, perhaps, uh, are a little bit shorter than your average vanilla run, and you know, people get used to videos that are half an hour to 45 minutes to 60 minutes to 90 minutes occasionally. Well, very rarely, but in length. Uh, and you know, to have a 15 or 20 minute long video is then kind of annoying. So I respect that. Uh, criticisms like that don't fall on deaf ears. I like doing vanilla runs. Let's go back to doing some vanilla runs for a little while here. Might be the challenge runs or something that we'll revisit. Later, it might be that challenge runs are something we revisit when Rebirth comes out, or it might be that challenge runs are something we revisit, uh, maybe never, but that depends on, on feedback, you know? We are dealing with a, I'm very blessed to say that we have a series that is, uh, very popular, and it's got a, a lot of different people, and, uh, those people all have different kind of expectations and, you know, preferences for how they want their entertainment to be, and, uh, it's impossible to please everybody, so I, I apologize if, uh, the, the fact that we're not doing challenge runs, maybe for a little while again. Ooh, that is amazing. I don't know why I did that little square dance around it, but, um, yeah, I, I apologize if you're the kind of person that loves challenge runs and are, is offended by the decision maybe to put him on a hi hiatus for a while, but so be it. Um, it's, I think it's for the best for now. And we might just, you know, kind of splice them in intermittently when we are, um, you know, bored or otherwise kind of done with some other Isaac runs. Please tell me we get all of the money, not the secret room, but, uh, enough to take us to 14 cents. That's really good. Magic mushroom in the first item room is obviously, uh, you know, basically one of the best items that you can get right off the bat. At least it's got to be in, uh, you know, within the top, like, 5%, bar none. Uh, I, I'm thinking that I will probably blow up these rocks, and the reason is, if I get one more key and one more cent, not necessarily directly out of this chest, but at some point, there's the, the money at least, um, then I can go to the shop on the first floor, which again, because this is the first floor, is guaranteed to not be greed at the very least, that doesn't mean it's necessarily guaranteed to be good, but guaranteed to not be greed, uh, and we can then use that other key to go to the item room. In fact, you know what's probably a smart idea is coming down here to the shop first, because I have rerolls available, probably won't have many rerolls available, but, um, you know, this floor looks probably a lot larger than it will actually end up being. I'm gonna use my reroll here on this. And you know what? Since we're on the first floor, I don't really mind buying a Steam sale this early. We're gonna have four more shops over the remainder of the game. I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world uh, to maybe get seven cents off of an item in each of them, or at least in many of them, and not to mention the Steam sale itself was already uh, half off for us. Well, you know, technically like 50... 8% off for us, uh, or something like that, because thankfully, uh, Edmund was nice enough to make the sales in Isaac round down, which is very nice. You get the greater discount than you mathematically should, I guess. Um, so, hopefully we get a key drop at some point. The world card will show us the location of the secret room. There may have been a tinted rock back in that last room, I would like to open that. Um, but yes, uh, the world card would show us the location of the secret room, and it's theoretically possible that um, the secret room would actually allow us to get entrance into the sh uh, item room. Otherwise, it might just contain money or an item, you never know. Uh, the tower card, I'm just gonna use just in case we manage to luckily find something amazing, which we didn't, but... I think it's okay to use the world card here. So there's where the secret room is. Kinda sucks. Um, we might as well just clear out the rest of the floor at this point. Kinda sucks simply because I don't have the key necessary to, you know, do anything with that uh, item room, and now I can't bomb my way into it, so, you know, it's unfortunate, but we'll see uh, if we can't find a key at some point. Maybe we'll get a reroll in here, or an item that we can reroll in here. I'm gonna play until we get down to... Oh, Temperance is actually really nice. Um, I'm just trying to think about this. We'll put Temperance down, and then we'll start, like, playing both of these. This should really increase our ability to play both of these right here. I definitely want to make sure I don't accidentally kill myself super early on here. That would be a pretty dumb decision, all things considered. And if, okay, well, Pinky Eye is actually a great trinket. I'm super stoked to have that. Uh, but again, the more Spirit Hearts we get, the more, you know, possibly other items we get, the more confident we can be in playing this. Um, I still think that we can reasonably play until we get down to about seven cents. Uh, never mind. We'll keep this here, and I say we'll keep that here because for one more bomb, I could possibly get, you know, 10 or 12 cents worth of, of money out of it just by bombing my way back into the secret room. So I don't know if that was worth it or not, but we have the same amount of money. A lot less red hearts, but, um, 
we do have the possibility of picking up an item at some point. More bombs here. And, uh, yeah, the, the red hearts are kind of an issue. But we did get Pinky Eye as well. And Pinky Eye is a uh, an absolutely, like, S-grade trinket in my opinion. It's up there, at least. It's one of the trinkets I actually value, which to me makes it an S-grade trinket. And S doesn't stand for shit. It's like, you know, how in a lot of Japanese games, S is the highest tier of um, quality. The highest grade that you can get on a level. I don't know what... Uh, why there's a precedent for that, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Now, we should be able to save a deal with the devil, or a reroll for a deal with the devil, if we get half-decent items here. That is not a half-decent item, but we might end up taking it regardless, and we should get one more Spirit Heart here as well, which is both a blessing and a curse, and I say it's a blessing because, uh, you know, Spirit Heart, right? We need health right now. It's nice to get some more, uh, but it's also a curse because this may mean we get less red hearts for completing this fight. Which would be disappointing, because I need those red hearts to play uh, the blood bank some more, if it's at all plausible, at least. Easy, easy fight here. We do get a deal with the devil. We got some red hearts back. The HP upgrade is a no-brainer, so we will be taking the speed upgrade on this floor as well. And you know what? I think it is a smart idea to take the ability to fly. We could reroll Necronomicon and possibly get something amazing, or I could reroll the speed upgrade. Let's reroll the Necronomicon. Well, I'm not thrilled about it. Um, this floor, obviously, I, I think it's fair to say, has turned out very well for us. And after this whole shenanigan... Oh, we, we can definitely shoot all this now. After this whole shenanigan that I'm about to get into, can you just have a singular form of shenanigans? But anyway, after I get through with that, um, with this, I guess I should say, we will check out the uh, blood bank. We'll blow it up and possibly get a key and be able to go... To, I can't believe they gave me nothing. And possibly be able to go to the uh, item room. Because, I mean, it's been a great floor for us. HP upgrade, all stats upgrade, um, and the steam sail, and the ability to fly, and the speed upgrade, which is more or less meaningless, but uh, it would be awesome to be able to get the uh, IV bag here, or sorry, I hope I haven't just jinxed myself, the uh, blood bag, I doubt it'll happen, we could buy another spirit heart, but I think it's just best to maybe blow this up, hope for a key, and we didn't get one, but we did get some more money, which, I mean, was the whole reason we kind of put it down there to begin with, so, unfortunately, we will be leaving this floor a little bit bereft of what I, you know, would have expected the capabilities to be, but we also got some amazing things considering it's only Basement XL. You know, we've got the same amount of health that we started with, at least the same number of containers. But now we fly, items are half price, we have lots of money, um, and we actually are on the caves, which is beautiful. We also have the ability to shoot poison shots, hopefully uh, we have the ability to uh, take two trinkets with us, because otherwise I'll have to get rid of Pinky Eye at some point, and I don't like doing that, because Pinky Eye is actually a very nice kind of uh, predictor of success. Now, the more money we get, obviously, the better. Very unlikely that we'll end up coming across uh, a blood bank on this floor, because it's an odd-numbered floor. It would have to be from... Oh, that was that was really stupid of me. Uh, on two accounts there, but anyway. Uh, because it's an odd-numbered floor, it would have to come from, like, a temperance card or just find it randomly. I have no excuse for the fact that I've taken so much damage on this room, except uh, that, you know, I throw myself on the mercy of the court, basically. Could use the death card here. I don't think it's, it's necessarily worthwhile. Let's just try to atone for previous mistakes. And again, I feel like I'm beyond strong enough to take out uh, any boss that we might fight on the Caves Part 1, so hopefully we snag another deal with the Devil. That key is worth more than you may know. And also, this Death card is maybe, you know, an ideal match for Fistula here, so what I'm thinking is that I'll just uh, knock out as many of the Fistula parts as I can, maybe get as many Silkworms on the field as is humanly possible, and uh, maybe like right now we'll just pop this Death card, and uh, that means... We're only going to have to deal with some silkworms now as opposed to anything else. Uh, that's pretty okay. We didn't get hit on this fight and probably will not, so I think I stand a pretty good chance of getting a deal with the devil. I didn't, but I did get meat, which is unrerollable in my mindset. Let's check out a secret room possibility here. Oh, we did find it. Good. Uh, now, I do think it's okay to use, like, a bomb here. Let's see if maybe this is the secret room to the right of us. Or this is what actually kind of what I was hoping for. Although we could have just walked into this room anyway. That was a really, really lucky mob trap room. Bombing our way into it is basically meaningless now that I think about it. We could have just walked in because we have full health anyway, but um, I don't know. At least free HP upgrade, right? Hard to be salty about that. And uh, the game has been very generous to, to us so far. Um, meat is a quality upgrade. And, uh, you know, the, the breakfast or lunch or dinner, whatever this variant of the, the food item is, it's all right as well. Um, there are better items, maybe, but it's hard to look a gift horse in the mouth when they give you an HP upgrade like that. Now, if the gift horse was giving you, like, you know, maybe like a, a fingerboard or something like that, 
that sounds like a torture technique, but I was actually thinking of like, you know, the, the skateboards that maybe your your mom didn't want you to skateboard because she's like, oh, Jimmy Olsen down the street broke his elbow and he's never going to be able to d jerk it again. Um, so I don't want you getting out in the skate park there, Tony Hawk. Instead, I'll just give you this fingerboard. It's like the same thing, but it's safer, so it's better. And you're just like, oh, mom, you don't understand at all. Anyway, that tangent maybe made no sense. The world card, again, not really worth too much for us here. Robo Baby is re-rollable. Re-robable. Um, hopefully we managed to pick up some, you know, keys again. So I can actually go to the, uh... So I can actually go to the shop and maybe make good use of the steam sale. Probably should have gone to the shop first, but I was thinking from a, like a reroll centric position. This might be our last room here, which would be disappointing. It's not, but it didn't give us a reroll anyway. Uh, we will probably be able to get another reroll, and more, perhaps more importantly, every other uh, room that we go to is a chance for a key to drop and give us a chance to go to the shop. That is a bomb. We already have plenty of those, but I appreciate it. All right, uh, we don't have Guppy's tail, so I'm a bit surprised that that show, uh, showed up, but can happen. Now, um, let's just hang the F back a little bit here. That guy will probably explode due to poison damage. Again, no, uh, no keys is really frustrating, but this floor still has been very generous to us. I know people are going to be like, why are you just, uh, like, why aren't you going back and re-rolling the item immediately? In all likelihood, we won't see, uh, oh, thank God. In all likelihood, we won't see uh, another re-roll potential on this floor anyway, and uh, for once, I was actually right about that. We... Would not have seen another reroll, even if I immediately went back for it. So, we do have a key so we can go to our shop. If we fight greed, we fight greed. No big deal. Um, and we'll, we'll see where the reroll is best used. Because getting 10 extra bombs wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if there's a worse item on the shop that could be rerolled to a better item. And there is. So we're going to reroll these. Notched Axe is obviously terrible. We'll buy another key anyway. And not another tarot card. But we're certainly not going to buy Notched Axe. We will take these 10 bombs with us. And uh, again... Not the ideal Caves Part 1, but certainly not the worst Caves Part 1 either. We got two HP upgrades, and, um, well, I guess that's basically it. Two HP upgrades, ten bombs, lots of money, and we are leaving the floor with a, uh, a key as well. In hindsight, I guess I kind of wish I took Robo Baby, but it's not the, not the end of the world uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Curse of Darkness means the world card is worthless. Which is actually maybe good for me, because now I don't have any incentive to burn it before a floor where maybe it's a little bit more worthwhile, if you know what I mean. So, uh, those don't mean anything, but I do hope that we come across an arcade at some point so I can have a good chance of getting the IV bag. How does this run look right now? I'm putting on my game show voice, I can already tell, but... Um, Will, why don't you come on down and tell him what he's won, Ryan? Bum, 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 bum. Uh, that's an uh, amalgam of The Price is Right and The Family Feud. Which sounds basically like every wet dream I've ever had in my entire life as someone who grew up watching Game Show Network in lieu of having a, a healthy social circle. Now, pills. Let's see. White pill is... Friends till the end. Acceptable. Orange pill is a tears down, which is actually pretty nasty. But we have had one tears upgrade uh, by way of all stats upgrade. Now, people have always told me tears up is proportionally higher or proportionally more affecting to your tears than tears down. So if you... You know, let's put it this way, if every room you had to take a tears up pill and a tears down pill, that hypothesis postulates that you would eventually have better tears than you started with. I mean, you'd always have better tears than you started with, I guess. Um, but I don't know if that same logic actually applies to uh, tears upgrades that come in the form of all stats upgrades. What I will say is that it probably doesn't make a big difference. So, spider butt. We're gonna re-roll it because it's, I mean, obvious, isn't it? And we'll get the hourglass out of the rotation as well, trying to put a positive spin on that. I would imagine that uh, when we find our shop, we're probably going to find ourselves fighting greed on this floor. And you know what? I am A-OK -okay with that. More keys? Yes, okay. More keys is always good. Probably can't do too much with a library on this floor, even if we got one, but it's fine. We'll go fight our boss. This is actually a dumb idea of me. I should have waited another room before fighting our boss because now if we get a deal with the devil, I actually will not have the capability to reroll it. So that is a little bit stupid of me. That's okay, though. I have done certainly stupider things over the course of my quote-unquote Isaac career. So just use a bomb to take care of the nubs. We got 25 of them. We might as well just kind of relax. You know, to make the world card a little bit better, I think it would be awesome if, even if you had, like, Curse of Darkness like this, you still had the ability to, um, you know, use the world card to cancel the Curse of Darkness, maybe. And maybe give you the layout of the level as well, I don't know. But, right now, I'm feeling kind of woefully inadequate with this card I can't even get any use out of. So, uh, I'm probably burning through more bombs than, you know, is good. 
if you're trying to play a little bit more conservatively. I've taken way more damage than I should on a fight like this with the uh, amount of positive upgrades I've had so far over this run, but we did get a deal with the devil and a coin purse. All right, this is great. So this is almost like the ideal outcome if you uh, don't have a reroll for the deal with the devil fight. Or deal with the devil room, I guess. So this is going to mean that we're going to get Lump of Coal. Lump of Coal, it's probably been like 50 or 60 fights against Krampus since I rerolled Lump of Coal. I consider him uh, to be one of the best deals with the devil, to be honest with you, or one of the best possibilities for the deal with the devil room, because you don't have to give up any health and you get an item that is basically a guaranteed improvement. Not always uh, a game winner, but it's it's a quiet improvement that really helps out your run, and it's it's tempting to, you know, re-roll the shit out of it and be like, oh, I really want mom's knife here. But in actuality, uh, I think that uh, Lump of Coal is one of the more underrated items in the game, and I underrated it for a long time as well. So I don't think the coin purse is great, don't get me wrong, but I do think that um, with our current setup, I probably want to reroll the hourglass instead, because the coin purse could be good. Holy water's a garbage item for garbage people. No offense if you are a garbage person, like professionally or personally, that's... That's totally your own business, and don't let a scumbag like me tell you how to live your life. I'm just saying, you know, can I interest you in some holy water? That actually ended up coming out. I, I didn't mean that to be, you know, negative towards religion, and I didn't mean it to be negative towards people who are negative towards religion. I'm just a dude who plays video games on the internet. Whenever people, uh, like, get... I'm not going to say in my face. Whenever people question me about, you know, social or political issues, and they're like, how do you feel about the crisis in, you know, the Ukraine? Or, sorry, the crisis in Ukraine. Um, I'm just like, man, you should get better sources for your political and, uh, you know, social opinions than a dude who plays video games on the internet. I'm, I'm, I try to be sensitive to all that stuff, but at the same time, the real question you should be asking yourself is why do I care about this man on the internet's opinion of this when it's not relevant to what he does at all? And I appreciate having an interest in me, like, I genuinely do, but, you know, I'm not gonna fly over to Russia and talk to... Putin about, um, is it Putin or Putin? I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to talk to him about the crisis in Ukraine because I don't know anything. I'll Maybe I'll, if you ask me to go over as like a dignitary, I'll go play the Binding of Isaac and try to spread goodwill throughout the hemisphere. But um, that is about the extent of my political machinations. Now, we are almost done with this floor. I don't think we'll get many more rerolls. Coin purse kind of scares me, but it kind of excites me as well. But the Holy Water is obviously our number one reroll target. That is the fourth shitty item on uh, Cave is Part 2's item room. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see a fifth shitty item. Have we been down here? Yes, we obviously have because I've blown that up. And the longer we go without getting money, many more upgrades, uh, the lower our chances of victory become here. But it's worth noting we still haven't been to the depths. And having fought greed once, there's at least a decent chance that I'll get two shops instead of one. That gives me, especially with a reroll, a decent chance to get either... 9 volt, nuns habit, um, battery, compass, etc, etc. Ruka, it's okay, did I make a mistake? You don't have to worry. Um, I, I think there's a theoretical chance that the secret room is over here. Alright, well, fuck me, I guess. Uh, there's definitely a theoretical chance that it's over here. Whatever, I have 23 bombs, might as well. Nope, okay. Uh, I guess there's a theoretical chance that it's over here. I might not even hit it if it were. Whatever. Uh, I guess we're just gonna leave. You know what? There's a theoretical chance that it's right here, too. Hey, there we go. Four bombs for six pennies when I had the steam sale. Not a fantastic trade, but I'm not starving for either, so... Um, I guess we are stuck with the coin purse. We, at the very least, did get... Tears down. We know that we don't need to do that. Um, we did at least get a lump of coal. Speed down. Doesn't matter. That's that's a non-issue. Bad gas. Also a non-issue. Bad trip. Okay! So that was a, a amazing uh, coin purse, obviously. There were technically four negative pills in there. And we're on Necropolis 1, but the silver lining is that we do have two keys. I will probably end up forgetting that spirit heart, but I don't want to pick it up just yet. Uh, and the reason for that is because I don't want to immediately lose it by going into this curse room that's right here. There were other reasons, I suppose, but um, this one is the most convenient for me because now it has been proven to be true. And they say hindsight is twenty twenty, so if there's any way you can get that hindsight in the four, that's even better. Alright, seriously, cat, it's okay. We're n nobody's in danger here. Do you want some wet food? You just ate! Oh, give me some tuna! Oh, man, we can't just live your whole life asking for tuna all the time, Ruka. I mean, you can, and you do, but I guess that's the the joy of being a cat. It's the number one concern for you. I mean, people are always like, 
Man, I would be so happy if I lived as a cat, like all you do is relax all day. And that's true, but cats pay a price for that, man. Uh, you know, the obvious ones of being a cat, but also, you know, they live way less time. It's like, you know, we're here for a good time, not a long time. Might as well give the cat the best time you possibly can, so I, I would rather live for, you know, theoretically 70 or 80 years and, uh, you know, have a little bit of work spread out with a little bit of fun. Uh, versus, oh, that's really good. Um, versus, uh, you know, living for like 15 years or 12 years or what have you, and, uh, you know, then, then dying. I don't know, maybe I just, maybe cats are the ultimate, like, live fast, die young, bad kitties do it well type thing, but I can't verify that one way or another, can I? Now, this is scary. That was really dumb. I really expected that to kill maybe all of the hearts. Instead, we've ended up with a situation where uh, I've exhausted my only cover. Now, I can still hang out over here. What's up, guys? How's it going? I'll kill one of you. I, I really just want to use bombs to finish the job here. There we go. One's dead. So, theoretically, it only gets easier from this point. Two dead. Can always hang out over top of these rocks if we have to. That poison should kill the other one. Not quite, but this will. And with only one remaining. If I take damage at this point, I'll feel real salty about the whole situation. That poison should kill you. All right. Still need to find an item room, and uh, here it is. And there's our boss room. Or, no, sorry, not our boss room. There's a tinted rock. I don't know how I even got those confused. That's just ridiculous at this point. Now, uh, take out the nubs first, I suppose. Seems like a, a prudent idea. Got another key. Never have too many of those. Well, I mean, you can't have too many, but having too many is just enough. There's still that spirit heart back there. Max's head is just a great item, just a, a huge damage upgrade, basically, so I'm psyched to have that. It's also an extremely rare item, so I'm glad to see it. Kind of regret opening that golden chest. Probably would regret opening that one more. Let's save some keys uh, so we can actually make some progress. Is there a tinted rock here? I keep having, like, flashbacks of me missing a tinted rock, but... Um, that's fine. Getting Max's head is huge. I hope we get... What's my ideal outcome here? Without resorting to Mom's Knife or Brimstone, which I may take if they show up, even though it annoys the shit out of some people. Um, I am thinking that ideal, within reason, without Mom's Knife or Brimstone, would be... Maybe HP upgrade, deal with the Devil, the Pact. Is maybe my favorite combination that we can get here. I would, I would do it for the Mark. I do. I would do it all for the nookie. Come on, the nookie, so you can take that cookie. Why is Fred Durst, you know, encouraging people to shove cookies in their butthole? I mean, I, he he kind of censors himself, but that's what he's getting at, right? He's like, shove the cookie up your butthole. Is that what? Is that how the biscuit gets limp? I don't understand. Please, like, it just seems at least like I did it all for the nookie. Come on, the nookie. Come on, so you can take that cookie and give it to a friend. Give it to a friend. Like. Be nice about it, you know? Like, instead of saying, what I got you, gotta get it, put it in you, why don't you say, like, uh, what I got, I gotta get and hug and kiss you? Or, I botched that quote pretty greatly, but anyway. Alright, Necropolis 1 boss fight. It's, uh, Dick Muncher here. Not that there's anything wrong with that, as long as the dick being munched is, you know, it's consented to it, which I am not here! I do not give you consent to munch on my dangle. So, if you could, uh... Resist the temptation, even though I know I've got it going on right now. That would be uh, for the best for all involved and be a good example for the children. Okay, well, it would be really helpful. Yeah, okay. The problem is I, I don't have the good grace and sense to actually get out of the way when I feed a bomb into his mouth hole. So, I don't like using bombs against this guy right now because I obviously lack the manual dexterity necessary. Oh my god, what the hell did I do there? I made him... Footloose with Kevin Bacon, don't die. Don't die here. It's like two hits before he dies. This should be very easy. Oh my, Lanta, please. There we go. Yeah, you know what? I don't deserve an HP upgrade here, and I don't deserve a deal with the devil. I got a range upgrade, but I'd rather have a range upgrade or pageant boy. Oh, uh, that's a, would I rather um, have uh, 25 bags of chocolate pudding or 25 cases of Dr. Pepper 10? The, the Metaphor there is that I'm, I'm not gonna really make good use of either of them at this point because they're not really res oh, I left that spirit heart on the last floor. I knew it would happen and then it did That doesn't make me a smart man. It still makes me a dumb man for not, you know, recognizing my own faults and trying to surmount them, but still I feel at least there was some victory in there and that I knew it was gonna happen 
Uh, sure, let's go to the curse room. Half of a spirit heart is not that big of a deal. Okay, yeah, okay. We will take the pact here. That is basically what I requested. Forget me now is an item that I think it's not very good, and I mean, that's kind of the point. I guess is that it's not very good, but also um, I think it's not even as fun as most people make it out to be. I think the D6 is way more fun, uh, but anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. I totally forgot, by the way, that I have the uh, I have the nun's habit, even though I'm wearing it right now. You think I would be able to keep that on my radar a little bit better? You might be wondering, Northern Lion, why don't you go to the Blood Bank? Well, this is a very you know intermediate level Isaac strategy. Uh, and it is intermediate. Don't let the advanced people fool you into thinking this is beginner level. With Nun's Habit and the D6, you should uh, find something that you want to reroll first before wasting so many opportunities uh, for rerolls uh, by playing the Blood Bank. Because we're going to get a whole bunch. If we end up playing it, you know, six or seven times, that's uh, three to four rerolls, depending on when we start, I guess. Now, we are kind of wasting some rerolls here because we haven't found anything to do, but that's okay. That was actually ideal. That second key makes sure we can go to the item room, and we are going to go to the shop, and hopefully the shop doesn't contain greed. And it does, but there could still be a reroll uh, target here, so I feel pretty good about this. I don't know how I feel about this run overall, but I feel pretty good about this greed fight, understandably. We just got money. So now we're going to go look for the item room. And the reason we're going to go look for the item room is uh, exactly what I explicitly stated earlier regarding the uh, reroll kind of theory. Northern Lions Unified Reroll Theory 101. Take it to the Scum University. It's uh, it's actually not 101, it's 169. What's the matter? Going to be like 500 more or 5,000, sorry, 6,500 more or 66,500 more. It's surprisingly easy math if I'm right. If I'm wrong, then disregard this. I was making a joke to begin with. Oop. That was uh, probably the first time I've ever successfully dodged there, and then immediately uh, threw it away being a big dummy. I really need some more HP. I mean, that's it should be a no-brainer right now. Three HP is not going to be enough to carry us through the rest of the game. It might if I had the compass, but I don't. I do have one world card. Don't get uh, too jealous about that. I could use that to discover where a boss room is once. It might be across. It doesn't take me to the boss room. No, it just tells me where it is. Um, oh, and it tells me where everything else is, I guess, but we've had, like, Curse of Blindness for the whole run so far, so, who knows. But I already, I did not get, this is why I hate Curse of Blindness, or Curse of Darkness. I did not get, a uh, an item on this floor already, did I? I don't, I certainly don't think so, I think I would have remembered that. Probably should gamble a little bit. Is it maybe on the right here, did I miss? This is our way to the arcade, and we've already been down here, this is a dead end, okay. Where the heck is our item room? Did we find a floor without an item room? That surely seems impossible. I've been up here, right? Yeah. And then I've been over, and I've been up, I've been up and over. Have I been down from here? I have not. Okay, this is exactly where we needed to go then. So, I'm probably not going to gamble uh, my life away on that uh, fortune teller just because I am lazy. Uh, and we're going to get some spirit hearts, and I'm not in a dire situation yet. Could be eventually, but for now I'm not. Alright, Book of Shadows is pretty bad. I'm going to pick it up, and you're not going to like this, because you could use Book of Shadows to play the Blood Bank a lot, but I'm going to reroll it immediately. Uh, brass Knuckles are... Brass Knuckles are good enough. Tough love, I should say. They're not very good at all, but uh, they're there, and they will help us do a little bit more damage. Who knows if there's luck up pills in the rotation. I haven't gotten any luck downs. So, I think I'm just going to take this and, and rely on a little bit of the extra damage to help me out. Now, of course, uh, it's kind of a waste of potential because I could have gotten a lot of rerolls. But we could have gotten worse items from those rerolls as well, right? So, who knows? So, I'm really hoping to get the IV bag payout here, uh, as one might expect. We're going to gamble uh, forever. I'm very disappointed with the shops that I had. Even though I got the nuns habit, I'm disappointed um, that we didn't get more good stuff, I guess I'm trying to say. Because we really only got Steam Sale and Nuns Habit. This is why we have 65 cents and nothing to do with it. Um, but we do have we have some good upgrades. We have the Pact. That's good. We have the ability to fly. That's good. You know, for all of the... Uh, bombs are key. Oh, shit. I don't know about that one. Um, for all of the complaints that I would offer about this run so far, there have been a lot of positives as well. And if my major complaint is that I've, I've not got a lot of HP, well, I did trade a lot of this HP away. Okay, so we actually have... Something that we can reroll now. And this will give us, like, from the shop item pool, I think? I don't know. Maybe? What is this? Bad trip? Speed down. Whatever, who cares? 
Um, I, I would love... Let's go get some more red hearts, because I want to reroll these. But we can also open up some of these golden chests now. We have zero bombs. That's going to suck real hard on the mom's heart fight, but whatever. We're not on the mom's heart boss fight right now, so it doesn't make a lick of difference in my mind. There we go. Sad onion. That's a great pickup. There's a half red heart here. This will allow us to reroll the ladder again. And if we get the compass, we're really cooking with gas. Yeah, our rate of fire. Yeah, fuck the tears downgrades that we got. Our rate of fire is crazy good now. Um, so we'll come in here, and ho ideally this would just be the IV bag. Or sorry, the blood bag again. I'll make that mistake uh, every time. So I'm looking for more red hearts, I suppose, but uh, they serve dual purposes, obviously. Helping me play the blood bank some more, but also giving me the fodder to get some more rerolls. I can't even blow this shit up right now, so... Let's look for some more red hearts, and it is a little tedious, but we got Sad Onion, and that, that makes it, uh, maybe not all worthwhile, but a, a good deal worthwhile. Are there any... I know there's one more golden chest, I thought. Um, maybe somewhere around here. It's been a longish run so far, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Long compared to the average challenge run anyway, so there's a red heart. Might as well just clear it all out so we don't have to, you know, constantly backtrack. And we might only get one more play. I would sacrifice half a spirit heart to get another reroll and not pick up the money bag, though. We'll see if that is possible or prudent. This is the way that we go to the shop, so I don't want to... Or the uh, arcade, so I don't want to do that. We could gamble on that guy, get some more spirit hearts. Um, shit, I guess... I guess we should just gamble a little bit more. We don't have to gamble on this guy. Well, it might turn out for us. Oh, the strength card is actually alright, I guess. Does it give me an extra HP container or just an extra, uh, or an extra HP along with it is the real question. Gives me the extra HP along with it. That's actually really good. All right, so there's another reroll for us, and that's Anarchist Cookbook, which is terrible. Uh, and we'll play this bad boy one more time. And we still have no bombs, so that would be nice to get. At this point, I think it's just in our best interest to gamble as much as possible on this thing. We don't have any bombs that we can use. That's so hard to get used to. Oh, there's oh, there's a troll bomb. I was just trying to steer it away from the valued goods there. So more money is kind of meaningless at this point because we have so much of it. My cats are freaking out around me. They know that this could be the 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 run to earn, as Twitch sometimes says. What is this? Friends till the end. It's it's kind of trash. I'll use it right away because uh, I want to take this world card down to the next floor. Obviously, seriously, just half of a red heart or a bomb. Anything along those lines. By the way, we did pick up a. Uh, an orbital as well, which is nice. So there's a, a real bomb. That's good. I can use that to blow up something. Maybe get some money back. Or maybe get some health back, I should say. Keys, not really worth that much. Bomb's worth a lot. And we're going to keep this narration up for quite some time, apparently, because I cannot lose money. I simply win more of it. Please, get, I I hate to do this. I hate to do this. Have a spirit art down the drain. Reroll it. Game Kid. Game Kid at least gives me the chance to get uh, a lot of plays on the blood bank, or a few plays on the blood bank. I, I didn't play that nearly as much as I thought I would. Um, we certainly don't want the game, kid. This is really frustrating. <laughs> this thing's paying out, but it's paying out with all the wrong shit. Okay, I mean, thank you for the bombs, sincerely, but also, can you help me out a little bit further? I, I may have to abandon my post for a moment. I hear my cats fighting in the bathtub. And that's a no-no, because eventually one of them's gonna get caught up in the shower curtain. And I'm just gonna wake up to a cat that is accidentally like David Carradine itself. So I did pick up a second, uh, second orbital, which is really nice. I know that a lot of people basically get off on this. Uh, I'm not one of them. I, I hate the tedium of doing this. And I really hope that this adopts a system that's kind of like similar to Dark Souls 2, where, uh... You can crunch, like, as many humanity as you want, or as many, um, like, souls of a proud undead as you want. There's just a slider, or a, a counter that you can use. Um, not so in Isaac as of right now, though, but in Rebirth, hopefully that is, that is altered. This is becoming very tedious. I'll tell you what, when I get down to 40 cents, that is where my patience is gonna falter as well. I'll go back and get that world card, fight the boss, and move on, because, uh, at some point, the tedium is not worth the thrill of victory. But we're still not quite at that point yet. All right, more pennies. I'm, I'll, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. If they drop a dime, I'll keep playing until we get down to 40 cents again. Okay, that's what I'm looking for, right? That's the good shit. Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel is good enough. Now, we're still going to play this one more time. And I'll still play this until we get down to 40 cents, just in case. Unfortunately, now there's nothing I can do with IV Bag. Actually, you know what? That's not true. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hurt myself. Probably could have just walked into a fire instead. Rerolled IV bag to Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead Sea Scrolls gave us mom's pad. Let's move on. If you'll excuse me for a second, I'll try to keep up my narration. Hey, you think I'm cats? Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, that's right. Okay. They ran away like a, you know, a couple of kids that had done absolutely nothing wrong, of course. On our way to the boss fight, because I am a little bit worried about our health. Might as well blow these up. P pick up a little bit of extra health. Really would love to get an HP upgrade from the boss at this point. Um, you know what? Let's play until we get down to 35 cents. I'm okay with that because extra spirit hearts at this point might actually be the difference between life and death. Getting guardian- we- okay, so like, we spent a long time there, but let's talk about what we actually got out of that situation. What we actually got out of that situation was a full suite of orbitals and guardian angel, which is a pretty nice series of pickups, to be honest with you. I still think- I mean, pinky eye, curved horn, to me, they're, they're pretty equivalent, and that's not to write off curved horn. But I'll take a damage upgrade over poison damage, I guess. Alright, so let's see if we can uh, fight this boss. I mean, we're not going to get to keep either of these items much longer, so... Yeah, we, we didn't get the IV, or we didn't get the blood bag. We did get the IV bag. Oh, ho, I hear kitties in the bathtub again. The sequel to Angels in the Outfield. Just make sure you really enunciate kitties, as in... Maybe we should just call it felines in the bathtub. Otherwise, it sends a message that, you know, could be misinterpreted, I think, unfortunately. Um, or fortunately, maybe. Who knows? Uh, let's stay the F away from the foot because it's going to cause an explosion in the middle. We get an HP upgrade, and thank God we had the curved horn for that fight. So we get a world card, and we're in an okay situation, but who knows, right? Utero 1 is not where we use this world card. At this point, I'm keeping the world card because it's just kind of comical how long it's lasted us. What do we need? We need more bombs. We need more golden chests. Hook me the F up with as many golden chests as I can hold, uh, because with this number of keys, I am not at all concerned uh, about... Oh, yeah, I'll just kill him like that. Uh, I am not at all concerned about uh, opening as many golden chests as might be possible. So let's come on up here. Could be a library uh, with Nun's Habit. I would love the idea of having a library. We could possibly get some double item rooms going. It'll be pretty unlikely. I'd give it like a 20% chance right now, but could end up happening. Uh, Blood Bank simultaneously, you know, titillates and scares the shit out of me. Much like, you know, titillates themselves did when I was 15 years old. Uh, no, uh, no spectral tears, so I can't really just hide out over the rocks. I gotta do a little bit of my own dipsy doodle in here. Tough Love was not the greatest pickup in the world, by the way, but whatever. Could have maybe invested more into the rerolls. We're done with this floor. I'm not gonna stick around and play the IV bag. Or, sorry. <laughs> IV bag is on the brain today, I guess. Um, we're not going to stick around and play the... Um, blood bank. Uh, we're instead just going to kind of pressure onwards. I really don't see us losing before Mom's Heart, even though our health looks really bad right now. That was awful. Um, maybe I do see us losing before Mom's Heart. It'll have to be a pretty unfortunate situation, though. We did get a deal with the devil. That's awesome. Cube of Meat, we can't reroll. It's worthless for us, but whatever. Um, Guppy's Tail. I guess I should? I don't know, maybe we get Gubby's Paw if we re-roll this one? Demon Baby, nope. So I took Gubby's Tail so that we could get as many golden chests as possible. That, even though we traded one HP for it, hopefully, you know, my thinking obviously is that we'll get more than one HP uh, payout from doing this. Okay, uh, this is obviously not very good. Please. Guppy, oh, go. Oh. Okay, we're a hit away from dying. We're still gonna be a hit away from dying, but I should pick this up just in case. I don't know why this, this would ever help me, but... Let's try not to die. I really don't want to lose before Mom's Heart, even though I've had a really good time with this run, and you know, it's always about the... the journey, not the destination. Red Hearts. Ooh, bombs and keys. Uh, I, I, I would feel a little bit disappointed with myself if I did end up dying on this run. Because I think we've had a, a pretty good opportunity for success. I don't know if I've squandered it. I've played okay. Could have played better for sure, but... Uh, maybe if I could do it over again, I'd take one less uh, deal with the devil. So, Poison Touch is good, but I kind of have to reroll it just in the hopes, I guess, of... I mean, is Horror Babylon any better than than um, Poison Touch in this situation? Not really. But I, I 
thought Poison Touch is pretty unlikely to, you know, give me a victory considering I'm one hit away from death. I guess was my my reasoning there. If I get hit, I'll be dead anyway. So at least Horror Babylon gives me a chance to do something worthwhile with my life, maybe? Oh my god. Cats in the fucking bathtub. It's freaking me out. This run should be called Cats in the Bathtub. This is how the naming convention for episodes starts. Now, Curse Room. Can't do crap all about that. Let's just make sure I'm not giving this dude a chance to hit me. Red hearts, red hearts, red hearts. Die, red hearts. No, okay. I can't believe we're still alive, to be honest with you. This is a bad room for me. I have a, a track record of not being the greatest when it comes to dealing with uh, these enemies in particular. As much as I hate to admit it, that track record is justified like a TV show starring Timothy Oliphant. And Oliphant never forgets that I suck at this room. But we made it, and no red hearts because that would make things too easy. And that was not a special uh, tinted rock that was that was hidden and surprising for all it. How did that happen? I'm disappointed, but it was a fun run regardless. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did, make sure to show your support by cl clicking the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.